in terms of tarnical design, um, they often have the, their stories to tell. Um, even though a weaver might take a particular motif to tell their own story, there's some general, general, um, what do you call it, general meaning behind some of these patterns, um, like the niho tanifa. Um, you know, we say the, 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 the monster's teeth, but that has significance all around the country. But of course, people associate it with Waikato um, and their proverbial uh, proverb, Epiko e Taniwha. Um, for every turn of the Waikato River, there's a, a Taniwha, a monster. So, you know, Waikato takes that pattern, but other people might use that pattern and tell their own story. Um, and that's, you know, that's another beauty thing when looking at Tarnako. Um, the kau kau pattern, uh, the armpit, you know, telling stories of strength, or um, the Natuki Mata pattern. And um, for my people of Kahununu, we have the story, or the proverb, Kahununu Tuki Mata Nui, the large eyebrows of Kahununu, which um, you know, refers not only to his handsomeness and all of his descendants as well, um, but also um, his many offspring, his many descendants. So um, a kaununu person who incorporates that pattern, the tuki, tuki mata pattern, you know, perhaps are making reference to that. So we have all those stories as well that the cloaks tell.